We're making egg fast pancakes. But back to the real issue at hand. Meg is horrendous at mental math. I have to recheck all of our nutrition calculations and everything all the time. What She makes up for it though. No. She doesn't. Okay. They think they know what I'm worth. It's such a shame. They think they could put a price on my name. I guess I'll tell them, tell them again. I am the chosen one. All I got in this life I live is one shot like the golden gun. Won't stop till I'm older than one. Yeah, I put the blood in the sweat. I put the cut in the check. Don't come and tell me I owe you a dollar when I'm the only one. Uh, I'm going to the grocery store and we are going to do a five day egg fast. So we both just wait ourselves. Um, and we're going to set some ground rules and then we're going to see what this five days, how it makes an impact on our bodies. A What'd lot you of, weigh in at? Oh, let's, we should do that. Well, I guess we'll fine. 119. I weighed in at 193, but I've been weighing myself every day for the past like week and that's significantly lower than the other weigh-ins. So I feel like my true weight is around like 194-ish right now, but we'll go with 193. Okay, so we will be back once I go and get all our eggs. And eggs, cheese, butter, right? Fat, fats, mayo, we can eat. Yeah, mainly, I'm just gonna go mainly eggs and butter. Okay. Maybe a bulletproof coffee. We're gonna try putting together like a little meal plan too yeah. for this. If you guys are interested in pursuing one of these, we'll try making a couple of recipes, like a couple of unique recipes so you're not just bored. What's up guys? I am having breakfast. Are you having breakfast too? Yeah. Um, so basically you do, for every egg, a tablespoon of fat of some kind, is that the rule? Yep. So I'm going to do three eggs, hard boiled, and a bulletproof coffee. The bulletproof coffee will have one tablespoon MCT oil, two tablespoons butter. So that's three total fats, three eggs. Are you having? How we many just hard boiled these. How many are you having? Um... You guys would be surprised how many times we are doing a recipe and we go to like crack eggs into it and it turns out to be a hard boiled egg. Yeah, Matt always gets really mad and I just stares mad. at me <laughs> because he knows it's me because I kind of just, I don't like big bowls of hard boiled eggs sitting in the fridge and that's Matt's go to, so. No organizational skills on this one. You're joking because I just cleaned the house. We're putting together our page for meal prep. And Matt just photoshop. These are two separate pictures into one. Miley's not in it. Sorry, guys. So on the day, we're probably going to be having like super low carbs. It's basically zero carb other than from eggs. And we're going to be doing five days. So it's Saturday. Yeah, five days. And I guess what's your reasoning for... Meg is the one who wanted to do this. What's your reasoning for wanting to do this? Well, I think it'll... A lot of people implement a, um, an egg fast. And we've never actually really done one. But um, I am so I imagine we're gonna drop a couple pounds, but then as soon as we go back to normal eating, we're gonna gain it. So I kind of want to see. I if, disagree. If that go. actually happens. Um, What's your rationale behind that? Because we're gonna be putting more carbs into our body after having no carbs in our body. If I'm eating a lot more food, because if I'm I'm eating like six eggs and six tablespoons of butter or six ounces of cheese. And then I go to eating veggies and chicken breast and stay like, I think you're just going to gain the weight back. Okay. And a lot of people have, I've also seen and read. So that is something I want to see how, if that even happens. Another thing is, I don't think I could get tired of eggs. I want to see if we'll get tired of eggs. It's, five days is a long time, right? Yeah. I already know I can't. You can't get tired no. of eggs? Um so I want to see, and I want to see how much weight we will lose. So I think we should give a projection. So I'm at 119. I started this morning, 119. Today's our first day. I think I'll probably go to like 116. I'm going to go so hard on this. I'm not even going to season my eggs with like, usually I put curry powder. I'm just going salt. He loves the curry. So I think I weighed in at 193 today. I think I'll lose four pounds, five pounds. How many, so how many eggs do you think you'll be eating a day? Nine, nine to 10, nine to 12, somewhere in there. So that'll be like almost 2000 calories. So 10 eggs would be 1800 calories. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, I'll probably shoot for something like that. For five days, you're not going to get tired. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Don't mind the hair. 
I'm eating my second two eggs of the day. I'm behind on eggs, I'm up on fat. It's a good place to be, guys. Um, but yeah, this will put me at four eggs and four fats. I am currently at four eggs and four fats as well. I think for today I'm gonna shoot for like 11 to 12 range. I might just be doing a dozen eggs a day. I'm also doing some curry powder because curry powder and eggs is perfect. Okay guys, I'm gonna eat these bad boys and then we will be back with dinner, but we're probably gonna cook something up, so we'll show ya, right? Yep. We don't know yet though. Yo guys, dinner time. I'm not I'm not really liking this me egg fast. It sucks. Day one. What are you doing? We're making just simple cream cheese egg pancakes. And we're gonna toss some cinnamon in it. Maybe top it with some ribs and cauliflower mash. Some ribs? Yeah, we'll see. I'll we'll just play it, play it by uh, ear. We're making egg fast pancakes. But back to the real issue at hand. Mega's horrendous at mental math. I have to recheck all of our nutrition calculations and everything all the time. What She makes up for it though. How? She doesn't, I'm kidding. Because he can't spell romance. He forgets the E on every single word. Not true. And he double spaces between sentences. No, that is true. Because he's a hick. I don't know if that's offensive. I'm sorry for you hicks out there. Hey, um, let me know. Do you guys double space when you type on a computer? I feel like that's how I was taught, and now I just always do it. He also was homeschooled in Southern Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Mobile. Um, I think it might be a generational thing. Like maybe the cutoff between double space and single space was the year in between me and Mega. No. For example, kids that were born like two years after I was born have never written in cursive in their life. For me, writing in cursive was literally the most important life skill you could ever learn in You're elementary 90, school. Boo. You're only 28. Well, kids that were three years younger than me never got to play number munchers. Number munchers? Yeah. Number munchers. Math uh, munchers. Or Oregon Trail. I played Oregon Trail. You probably died of dysentery all the I time. did die of <laughs> dysentery. I was the worst. I watched my brother. He was amazing and I just wanted to be him Oregon Trail wise. That's uh, who I have to compete with all the time. Mega's you? brother. We'll be back when we sit down for dinner. Rolling, yeah. Rolling. I'm not in the mood to fight over things that I got to improve You think my homie's been dabbling, not working weekends? Trust me, a lot of them do I gotta say that I'm proud of them too Most of these people spend hours in school End up with nothing but a sour view Couple of papers that they- Alright guys, Mega forgot to record audio I have to do everything no, From now on See, those like comments are unnecessary So you saw us eat our meal It's good it is really good. So we each have a nice little stack. I have three, he has four. So he's like four eggs, one and a half ounce cream cheese, one tablespoon heavy whipping cream. I have three eggs, one tablespoon heavy whipping, or one ounce heavy uh, cream cheese, and one tablespoon heavy whipping cream. Got a big old pile of flapjacks. And then I added two tablespoons of butter and so did he. For the day, my uh, macros, just eyeballing them, it basically was about 75 grams of protein and 170 grams of fat or so. I hit about 45 grams of protein and like 95 grams of fat. And then we also talked about, now we're just gonna keep saying, oh, let's refer back to the video we just did. A good point Matt brought up was why like we're doing this. Yes. And why you might want to. A lot of people do um, when they've hit a stall, you know, they're not seeing the weight loss they want to. So it's a good way to like, like re-up that, right? Yes, break through a stall, mm -hmm. plateau. One of the benefits of it is it's almost like fasting, no food fast. It's so much more easily sustainable because you're full. Right. So like, you're burning through a bunch of calories, so you're not losing weight as rapidly, obviously, but your insulin remains very low throughout the entire egg fast, fat fast. It's comparable to normal fasting. It's just a lot easier to maintain for longer. It has a lot of the same benefits. And yeah, it's, it's easier. I don't know if you said this. It's easier than just like a fasted fast, like an actual no food, because mm -hmm. you get to eat. It's kind of boring. We've only been doing it for one day and um. 
Matt's been struggling. Yeah. It put you to the test because yeah. you you realize you're not only eating when you're hungry because I don't want to eat eggs really. And I'm only going to eat more eggs when I'm hungry. Right. And especially because it's a Saturday and Saturday like we'll be cooking and snacking and having some fun. Yep. But it's like we're not we're not even having fun. It's like a really bad Saturday overall. Because she forgot to record the audio. <laughs> no, but we did take a nap, which was awesome. We've been doing that every Saturday. We watched a show. What's the show called? Um, Making History. There's only pretty funny. Of... We have a keto crate that arrived today too. Ooh, I just got a clump of cream cheese. Tastes like cream cheese. It looked like it had good stuff in it. I peaked. We'll be back in five days. No, we'll be back tomorrow. Probably. I mean, we'll be back tomorrow. I'm probably gonna have an egg later on because I'm just a piggy and I love to eat right before <laughs> bed. I might be, I don't know, we'll see. It's Saturday, guys. Tell us if you fall victim to the Saturdays. And oh, in the beginning of the last video we just made, Matt said a quote and he said, name that movie. What was the quote? I already said it in this one too. Show me the money. No. <laughs> what was it? Jerry Maguire. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's right. I got a big old pile of flapjacks. Oh, he did say it. I thought he was just like telling yeah. you what he had. From a movie. He's gonna tell me afterwards. Though. People will know. I know people will know. Bueller's Day Off. No. Okay. Bye. Bye.